Hello and welcome or oh, welcome back to our home. It's Charlotte, your friend, the usual. So let's get to the business of the day. Story time, 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 story time. First and foremost, uh, Mr. P and I have never been lucky when it comes to rentals. I'll just give you a quick background of where we come from. This will make it easy for you all to understand this whole story. Now, for those who don't know, we started staying together while he was staying with family. That was in Tembisa. So we didn't pay rent because he was staying with family up until we moved to Soweto. And we have stayed in almost everywhere in Soweto. We know this side of Gauden so well because of rentals. Now, the rentals I'm talking about are not fancy rentals such as your flat, cottage. No, no, no. We made an agreement uh, or a vow that we are never going to pay rent that is more than 2,000 rents. So every any or any other place that we've lived at was mainly um, a back room with nothing fancy, just an empty back room and sharing a toilet, you know, it was one of those. So... If I remember correctly, our very first rental, we were paying 900 That was a garage. It was somewhere in Sinawan. Okay, enough about the pricing, but I'm just giving you a background that we never paid more. Like, even 1500 would be a stretch. I don't think we've paid that throughout our rental lifetime before these stores. Now, let's get to this. Um, we would uh, stay in a place and you'll find that the place has everything that we want, but it doesn't have parking. So we, uh, oh, the parking we struggle or the parking is no, it's not safe. So we would have to move. Some other places would stay very well and find that our core rent, our core tenants don't like us. They're always checking what we're buying. You understand? So as much as we were staying in back rooms, our lifestyle could tell that we actually afford more than just staying in a back room. So it made people around us not like us at all. I remember when we come back with food, like we've always loved food. When we come back with our, we were still having that NP200 baki. So we'd come back with food, doing the stockpile and all that. So when we're taking off the food, some of the people in the rental place would be looking at us through the windows. And then some would even ask, why do you guys buy so much food when it's just the two of you? You understand? So people could see that the lifestyle that we're living is way beyond like we can afford more than just staying in a back room okay so we eventually said you know what let us move from this township so we to well let's just move somewhere further from just so it because so it was now far from Bendy. he was waking um in the eastern side so we're like let's move closer to town though we couldn't uh, stay in town because we didn't have a plan of renting a flat where you'll be paying water electricity and all that so we just still needed a room so we found a place that was in Naturena. that's where the whole saga happened now how we found the place it was through an agent uh, that we met on property 24 and there was a room going for 1,800, if I remember correctly. And we're like, let's just move, man, because we it's gonna, going to be a bit closer to work. You understand? So we were willing to pay that much. That was a lot for us at the time because we've always been paying 800, 900, 1.2. So 1.8 was a way too much, but we liked the fact that you had a bathtub where you can enjoy and it was way private than the other rooms that we've rented before. As much as we had many staff and we were used to renting a garage, we were really 
comfortable with just squeezing everything together and squashing into that small, normal, tiny room. Now, so that guy um, told us that you can move in. Oh, we went to view the place. We liked it. There was a secure parking. Everything was pashash. And he gave us the key. And it's like, yeah, I'm in charge of this whole situation here. Everything, blah, blah, blah. Okay, fine. And it was the first time we're doing this urgent thing. So after getting the key, Yaban, we moved in into hell. I can put it that way. We moved into hell, Baba. So the first problem we had was of the dog. There were tenants, like the whole um property or the yeah the whole uh, property was um for rentals there was no landlord in the premises so the main house was occupied by this guy from west africa with his family he had a dog so the dog used to come poo at our bathroom so we had a problem with that like dude your dog comes take a shit in our toilet and you have your own inside so we had that problem we okay problem number two the parking space we had to always um shift for each other you know i want to go out he would come knock we would open each other like that was also it was not it was not a major problem but i'm just mentioning some of the things we were not happy about number three which is the main thing that room was too small and inside the room it would be so misty is it misty steamy like everything would be so wet i don't know what was wrong with that that room couldn't breathe guys if i can put it that way it couldn't breathe like the wet the floor would always be wet i don't know why i really don't know and as a result our bed had some mold on the side next to the wall because it was so so wet i don't know what caused that maybe it's, it's how it was built or maybe lacking a bridge i really don't have an idea why it was always so wet like just cooking one thing the whole thing will be so steamed up okay enough about that now it came a time where we were supposed to oh we met the the the, the landlord landlady she came introduced herself and stuff after introduction she's like yeah guys i haven't received your um deposit we were like deposit she said yes you have to pay double when you first move in we're like no we signed the contract with the agent it didn't stay state anything like that so we never paid deposit ever in our lives so we don't even know that there is a deposit for a room like this one she's like yeah you have to pay deposit guys you have to so we were not fine with it. We spoke to the agent. The agent was like, no, um, I should have mentioned that. I forgot. We're like, no, no, no. We wouldn't have taken this room should we have known that there is a deposit that needs to be paid. Because we know that people always struggle to get deposits anyway, to get their money back. So we're like, no, no, no. We don't want this. Then we started looking for a room. And luckily we found the room. Oh, I think we stayed there for a month and... The following month we paid rent twice in that uh, place um it was time that we uh, we were about to move out so we like we're not paying so we'd rather move out than pay so the landlady was like how can you move out whereas you guys have occupied the room and then when you move out the room will need to be painted and all that we're like we didn't make your world dirty so we're not going to pay she's like okay at least buy buckets, two buckets of paint and also hire someone to paint then you don't have to pay the we we're like we are not doing that either we are just moving out eh when I, when I tell you that things got heated up so she started telling us that we must leave before the, the month ends because now we have to to compensate for the cost that she will be paying and she will lose out on people because and 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 you know and we were like we're not moving out meanwhile we had already secured a room elsewhere same um area it's in a still but different extension so 
she's like you have to move out we're like we're not moving out we would always quarrel she would come and quarrel 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 will just not entertain her guys mr p is such a peaceful man that he doesn't want he, he doesn't want any violence he he's calm so even when someone is talking like he's just there but he wouldn't i'm the one who was there with the master and you know okay cool and remember we just the two of us we didn't have kids at the time or we had one who was still at home with my mother now the issue happened uh, oh it, it, it carried on this thing of fighting constantly up until she came this other night with um with some two guys ne? they came and then they banged the door at night guys they banged the door she's like open open i want to throw you out you have to get out of here we don't want you here like open threatening so he my man was so calm he's like let's open i'm like we're not opening for them and then they started banging the door they started banging the door they are trying to unlock from the outside they have a spare key and then i held the key inside i twisted it right they turn to open now they are talking about this we are hearing uh, male voices there are men there and she's trying to tell them yeah you must just kill them because we have nothing else to do this is my property and i pay for this property hey nyara, nyara. so we just don't have another choice so they're like open we want to see then they started firing up the sky they are firing shots and remember there are people in the premises the guy there from west africa it's always there bro like they are they are people right there situation got so tense that i called the cops now i was paying attention you know one thing about my life is important i called the cops and then while we were waiting for the cops the guys came back now it was just the two of them they were trying to unlock to unlock again from outside and then eventually they gave up and they just left i'm like dude we are not sleeping in here it's not safe anymore we are just moving right away so we called the new landlord and told him the situation it's like okay fine naki mo i called the cops i said i need you guys to escort us we had a bag so transport was not a problem we packed everything and anything and went to the new property that's how we moved guys at night like the am i was so scared for my life i was so scared but the man beneath me was just beside me <laughs> beneath what the? he was just calm throughout the whole situation i don't know they got him there but shame i the the rental thing we were never lucky with that we were never lucky we like after that experience we moved in there we stayed for six months we're like you know what after this we are getting our own property thanks for watching bye now